are, you turd! Come on! Ah, stir, you piece of shit! I need a taxi as soon as you can. I'm sending one out right now. Wonderful. Where are you going? Grand Sonora Desert. I'll get you there fast, buddy. Hurry the fuck up! Hold on to your butt! Okay, buddy. There you go. You said you was gonna get us some food. No, you said that. I said I wasn't. I'm the one trapped hiding up here day and night. I ain't had nothing but potato chips and over... A week. Don't you move! You're coming with me! Get that bastard!
Okay, okay, I give up. Aw, oh, that's better. Now let's go before I change my mind on the whole dead or alive thing. Jesus, anybody think you didn't trust me? Easy there. I already surrendered, didn't I? Look, I'm done with the surprises. I swear. One of your finest taxi cabs, please. Not a problem. A driver's on the way. I'll be here. I'm coming with you. Wasn't very nice, Larry. Whoa! Hang on. Surely it ain't. Trevor Phillips? Am I that forgettable? Well, I was pretty messed up back then. And you, well, years ain't been kind to none of us, have they? How you been? Oh, I can't complain. Yourself? You know, up and down. Look, sorry for that back there. Didn't know it was you. Hey, no harm done. Glad to hear it. Ha, well, isn't this pleasant? So, seeing as we're old acquaintances, what do you think about giving me a pass this time? All I did was cook up a batch, not even a real crime. You know... You know how it is. Well, let's look at this objectively, shall we? You've shot at me, insulted my rugged good looks, and shamelessly gone after my market share. I'd just consider yourself extremely lucky your heart is still beating, and not being stomped under my foot right now. Oh yeah, right. I heard about Johnny. Yes. If it wasn't for the fact, I'd made a commitment to mo Commitment to Maud and have a soft spot for the mature woman. Maud? Oh hell, she smells like spoiled chicken feet. Maybe you can work your charms on her, see if she'll let you off. She's certainly hankering for some male <laughs> company, huh? What'd you think? Uh-huh, huh, huh? No way. I'll take the jail time. Second bail jumper and I already know the feller. Maybe... Maybe I need to take audit of my social circle. Well, if I got to go in, who better to go in with than my old pal Trevor? We had some good times, didn't we? No, we really didn't, Larry. I sold you drugs. Then I can only assume you started buying drugs off someone else, then started selling your own drugs. These, on their own, do not constitute good times. We had a real nice cook site this time, too. Next thing you know, whole trailer goes up like a rock. Must have gotten lazy again with the measurements and in the shake and bake. As a wise man once said, rarely does a tweaker a good baker make. Huh? Right? I still can't rightly believe you're a bounty hunter. 
If what I heard about them bikers and Ortega's crew is true, I wouldn't have figured you have much time for a sideline. Time for a sideline. Well, I am diversification personified. Or personification diversified, as a psychological evaluation once said. Say what? Don't worry about it. Look, it's been fun catching up and all, Larry, but I think we've said everything that needs to be said, don't you? Whatever you reckon, Trevor. Fucking fuck. Are we stopped for a good reason or a bad reason? Sit your ass down in here! I could just get out here, seeing as we're stopped and all. I see you! Get over here! Hello, stranger. Who's this? Hello, Maud. I found this man wandering the streets, and I thought that maybe you uh, might be able to find him a home. I think I can do that. Anyway, let's not waste all day with the inconsequential chit-chat. You'll be receiving a file from me shortly. Shit, shit, shit! 